Hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Inside Out Electronics and today we will try to understand what can useful we get out of this broken old school compact Presario 1700 laptop. Yeah, looks like someone, not me as far as I remember, decided to sort of repair it and I'm not sure where repair went but this thing was sitting in, in my in the box for a while and look what's happened to it this crappy plastic is actually all over everything so I decided uh, to actually to see if I can salvage any components out of it and throw it away because when I the moment I touched this thing all my fingers were in this whatever melted rubber it's very sticky it smells terrible and I want to get rid of it and also it it it, it garbages uh, and uh, blackens everything it touches so what we can do today it try to see oh my god and, it, it, and it's not just this this surface it's all this crap like everything here all this rubber melted into the goo so I'd like to know is anything can be salvaged from this laptop and rest probably gonna be thrown away I'm not sure what kind of LCD panel this thing has um, and so on Ooh, yeah all right so let's take a look so so clearly this laptop is not functioning let's put aside this LCD for the moment we're probably gonna just pull it out and take a look on um, hardware itself okay so here's CD drive busted over here oh so sticky oh, we have a um, backplate this is impossible to remove this is impossible it's probably hard drive it's a ba battery what the hell what is the battery is this the battery oh this is oh yeah this is CD drive removal oh wow Very old school DVD ROM drive, Toshiba. That's cool. Made in Japan. Yeah, that's who knows, maybe useful to something. It's very nice and cute. You can do some tear down. What the hell is this? Is this ba oh, this is the battery. Sick. Eee. Okay, only with compact series blah blah blah, 14.4 volt, 3.2 ampere hour, stored between, okay, if it's 14.4 volt, I do suspect this is nickel metal hydride battery, and it probably gone ski many, many, many years. I gonna probe it, probably those two big pins are the, um, um, how do you call it, power. Um, and we're gonna take a look is, is still any signs of life here but I don't do not think so yeah looks like it's a legit compact battery cool I'm not sure how old is this stuff but if this thing has Windows Microsoft Windows Millennium product key I think it's pretty old I don't even know what it runs well I guess we're gonna take a look inside and we will see what is this Oh wow, well, I would have to clean up my bench because this crap is gonna be all over the place. And probably throw away those gloves. Okay, let's get unscrewing. Uh, looks like it's not gonna work. This is sort of more advanced laptop because it has docking thing here. So I don't know if it's repairable. bunch of screws what is this probably memory it is crucial this is DDR1 or DDR2 I don't think it's DDR2 I don't believe so oh so cute tiny I think yeah it's something something old yes PC 100 128 megabyte 100 megahertz all oh, this is old crap well who knows maybe it's will be useful I go I usually keep the memory modules around Eigh. sometimes they're very hard infineon memory 
64 megabyte this is even less so we have yeah we have scrap amount of memory see here is supposed to be a hard drive but how to remove it I'm not sure let's keep unscrewing I'm not sure if those bolts are gonna come back ever again in That's pretty neat uh, lid, by the way. It's probably all um, has this kind of copper coating over here and this shield. Very, 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 very well done. Obviously, they do care about a being compliant. Or at least they did. Okay, oh. What else is holding it in place? Nothing here. No. Yeah, it's busted over here as well, so it's like definitely goner. Oh wow, that's that's nice. Serial and LPT and S video ports. Is there any screws in here under the keyboard? I don't think so. It has JBL Pro speakers. We're gonna take a look at those. Maybe we can do something useful with them. Okay, I'm having a hard time. So unless there is something under this label. Or under this label. Okay, let's try to unscrew those. Who knows, maybe it's gonna help. Okay, still having a hard time to uh, figure out how to remove um, this backing, but at the same time, I'll try to remove the hard drive over here. And over oh, here we are. It's a IBM Travel Star 10 gigabyte hard drive, 10.06. It's a ATA interf ATA interface or ATA interface. I think this hard drive is kind of gone, ski. Because if hard drive doing this sort of noises when you shake it, I think it's pretty much gone. Because looks like his head just keep hitting the plate plates inside. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting subject for teardown. 10 gigabyte travel star hard drive made in, made in, made in. Uh, hmm. I don't know when. Doesn't say. Yeah, I cannot derive from any of those numbers the date of manufacture. So yeah, five volt, five hundred milliamp, a model DJSA two ten, forty two hundred RPMs, made in Thailand by IBM storage product. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll deal with it later. Still have to get in somehow. What's holding it? Pretty much all falling apart, and it's still holding together. Shish. I don't want to rip it open, but I can wrap my seems to be can. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe there is something here. Okay, maybe there is. Sometime there is an issue with those basil. Basil, oh, now it's broken here. So I will try to pull it open. No. Mm, look at this button there, it's cute and useless. Shit. No, doesn't seem like there is any. What the hell is... Oh, so sticky. What's holding it? See, can drop my mind. Maybe there's like a secret button under our one of the butt. Okay, keyboard. Oh, here we are. Keyboard. We have a keyboard here, and maybe those screws are holding it. No. Nope. The big ass screw here. I think it's better. Still not good. Over here. Look, it's, it looks like it's broken. 
Oh yeah, my, my gloves is sticking out from this crap. Okay, let's remove this shield. I, I suspect this is heatsink for the CPU, whatever the CPU is. We'll be actually really interested to see the CPU and the whatever bridge, nozzle bridge, south bridge stuff. Is it? No, it's. Okay, let's. Uh, oh wow, okay, shield at least is gone. Oh nice, maybe we can reuse it for something. Uh huh, here we are. Okay, keyboard. Keyboard is just simple pluggy thing. Nice, we have a keyboard. I don't know why I need the keyboard, but just simple keyboard. Boom, boom. Okay, it's still not lifting. I guess this is the last screw. Is it? Are you the last one? Hope you are. No. Oh, yes, yes. It's the last one. Ta-da! Ooh, what the hell? Ah, it's a touch. Touch device. That's cool. That's cool. Whole bunch of screws can be salvaged from here. Okay. There's a... Ah, those buttons are, I think, they are directly on it. What the hell is this? It's probably Wi-Fi module. Is it? Maybe not. I don't know what the hell is this. LNL. It is probably Wi-Fi module. Because there is a little connector over here and a little connector over here. And this potentially... Yeah, this potentially could be a Wi-Fi and... Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Let the me take a look complies if it says FCC regulation and blah 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 Canada class B but like come on seriously like could you provide a little bit more information yeah but it's really cool to have this device just like that frick this is not video card it's not I don't believe. Wow, there is even more like contacts over here, whatever it is. Hmm. For home or office use, okay, like we pull this, whatever it is. It has only two sh shielded. That's it. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of device is this, we'll figure this later. Okay, Sony CR2032. We have those nice and cool JBL 4 ohm jobbies. These are. Okay, let me pull this a little bit over here. Looks like you don't see it. All the goodness. Okay, this cage goes away. Now it's probably garbage. Look, look. JBL, goodness, 4 ohm speaker, two of them. Not sure how good are they. Ah. Can I MacGyver something? Antec Lastling. Sure. Cool. I'm curious, it could be only one speaker, another is just a uh, resonator, but yeah, I don't want to disassemble it, but this look cool, a little cool module, maybe we can, can use it for projects, you know, for ARM, it's not bad. This is another one here. Left and right, obviously, a little cool thingy. Okay. Okay, this is hard drive. The hard drive was Tiger 11 motherboard. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Like this this is mysterious thing. 
Oh, hallelujah. What is this? Looks like someone tried to MacGyver something over here with some like silicone. Yes, Gonski. So I don't see much of any kind of cool goodness over here. It's a bunch of screws. So let's keep unscrewing. More buttons here. Oh, those are cool buttons. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh, capacitor. Oh. So this motherboard is kaput. Because this capacitor leaked and there's a whole bunch of greenery over here. It's blooming. And actually, it's interesting. There is not many capacitors around here except those. those are those capacitors? Or diodes? Capacitors. So here, some tantalums, I think they are. But this is only one electrolytic like that. And it's motherfucker leaked. Sorry. Should not swear. Okay. So, what else we can pull out of here? <laughs> okay, this is the most interesting for me at the moment. So I'm not gonna go there yet. Oh, looks like this is on data board. That's cool. How do you come apart? Look, it's amazing. A little dot board with uh, Ethernet and modem my thing in this like bracket wow look at these cool buttons button pink pink this is probably the button which senses the open and closed lid whole bunch of LEDs USB port this video uh, nothing really special what is this those are probably some sort of transformers for Ethernet? I don't know. Nice. This little cute switch, I like it a lot. Alright. Tiger sub, sub, b, I guess sub assembly, I don't know. Okay. So, like, I'm not gonna be. Um, going more around and beat around the bush. Looks like someone tried to be very creative and hook up. Wow. Who's... I don't know. I'm curious if previous owner even... Look, someone actually hook up that to the hard drive to actually power. Like, what the hell happening here? Shit. It isn't even... Even the proper fan? What the hell? It's a nice assembly. Ball bearing cooler and why do you MacGyver this? Oh wow, it's actually Huh. Okay. So let's come and take a look at this. Intel 00. Okay, this is 2000. What the frick is this? It's something 600. It's probably Pentium 3. It's probably Pentium 3. Okay, we're gonna just leave it like it is. And because this liquid metal stuff is all over the shop, so I have to be <laughs> careful. Then probably cannot throw away those gloves anyways. Okay, let's keep digging. Another nice cast aluminum bracket, very heavy actually. What's really hmm. something doesn't okay? This is audio stuff like audio amp over here, some kind of shielding. Delta? What is this Delta stuff? Inductor? Looks like it. Ah, yeah, it's probably some sort of inductor, but like really hard to tell. 
I thought it would be more electronics unless there is something underneath the board because the, the, the bridge, this... Uh How to ah, here. Two more screws. That should be, should be, should be more ICs. Still not coming. Am I missing something? People, please help me because I'm blind. Something is not cooperating. And I do not see. I don't see. Where? Where's the screw? Okay, memory under uh, underneath. That's correct. Maybe this? Okay, let's try to pull this out. No. It's probably was for this bracket. What is going on? That last screw. Hmm. It's like a real hunt for the last screw. Oh my god, I have to I have to clean this all up. Something here. This is supposed to lift, I think. Oh, these guys hate them. Yeah, there is turned out to be much more crap than I expected, and it was in this corner or in that corner. So I pulled out all these little nuts or bolts holding and I still have a problem oh here we are Ta-da! well even more crap what this thing oh wow it had proper video card ooh kick ass AGP set so it's a Intel AGP chipset and PCI bus, PCI bus from Texas Instruments, some kind of logic stuff. Wow, it's a bit more packed than on this side, right? That's cool. That's interesting. Yeah. This is looking very nice. It's a, a lot of bypass capacitors for the um, processor. This is this is nice, right? Rage mobility. I don't know what the hell is how good is this video card, but it's not bad. Some Hitachi stuff, probably display controller. No, I'm not sure. Take PCI bus from Texas Instrument, Intel. Yeah. It's looking much more intense so question is what kind of cool things we can salvage out of here I don't know <laughs> I can clearly pull the processor which is kind of very interesting looking it's it's uh, let's just to pull it out I'll show you what I mean Wow looks like what's done here is this the BGA processor, I don't know if you see that, it's actually soldered to this uh, PCB and this PCB has this uh, pinout. Yeah, that's the my kind of... Is it, am I correct? Because this totally, like yeah it is, yeah. You see? I don't know, hope you see that uh, little... So those are a bunch of BGA balls over here and this is like uh, pins Wow, that's that's neat. Never seen this before actually. This is really cool. And uh, 
I bet the bottom dollar this is Pentium 3 processor, mobile, SL44, SL443 and I'm gonna write here description what kind of processor exactly it is, I just don't have I wanna touch my phone with this gluey sticky fingers and things like that uh, so okay processor we're gonna put put back where it was for now at least and it's really very cool kind of socket click nice it's very nice it's cute it's very cute Okay, a bunch of cool buttons here. Okay, so I'm not sure if those capacitors are salvageable. Okay, not sure. Uh, there's a lot of them. I can, you know, can just measure them and see if they are still this their uh, values. Uh, audio sockets can be salvaged, but there's some kind of crud on them as well. So probably it was some kind of water damage or whatever like over here so I'm not sure if I want to play with those um, one I'm not sure if this is MOSFET or Royal Voltage Regulator of a sword but there are a few of them here yeah it's probably MOSFET yeah this guy and this guy the same there is that's it this is another uh, uh, voltage regulation circuit over here I don't see any power elements though, like it's only a few induction inductors. Uh, yeah. What is this guy? Something from TI. PU 2211. Mm, means nothing, unfortunately. I just don't see any beefy like um, transistors here for the power, unless it's all on this side. Yeah, here are uh, resistor network. Anyways, I'm just looking at all that and just like wondering what can be useful. The little tiny transistors. Probably the most most useful here is actually those inductors, but only like few of them. Yeah, so I'm not sure if this make any even sense to play with this thing. A processor obviously gonna take just for giggles because just for historical reasons. Uh, those two chipsets, eh, who needs them? Maybe for giggles you're gonna take this video card, clean it up, uh, just use my soldering, uh, soldering, uh, not soldering, rework, um, air gun, and you can just pull this. <laughs> yeah out of here I ah, maybe like pull all of them because I'm pretty sure because of that over here this corrosion uh, on the power side this capacitor leaked I think this motherboard may be gonski and I'm not sure if it's even worse a uh, repairing it so this by the way someone did some repair already by the way there is this there is some kind of flux residue over here so yeah this is, what is this, the resistor shunt? Yeah, there is a uh, 0.1 ohm, I guess. 10 megahertz resonator. Interesting, what for? Is something else made in Japan? By the way, those are gold plated, but these are like milligrams or micrograms of gold in in here. So yeah, it's useless unfortunately. This one not even gold plated. This is probably gold plated. What's this pin? Interesting. Some kind of inter It's probably like a little standoff with a little screw. So yes guys, yeah, I'm probably not gonna desolder anything at the moment, I just wanna think about what I can pull out of here, but for now, this part is over, let's take a look over here, because this is definitely what I get rid of.
because it has this sticky gooey goop all over oh my gosh okay looks like we have a um, high voltage driver over here interesting to play with this thing Alps. So this is obviously a CFL driven um, LED panel. Okay, hence the this voltage driver, high voltage driver. I'm not sure if it's still operational. I'm not really sure if this cable is okay. If you can reuse this for something because it's sort of ripped here. So maybe it's yeah, it's game over probably. It's probably game over. So this LED panel just game over. It's sad. Yeah, I think it's just game over. Actually, in order to remove the panel, I Alright, alright, so I had to ditch all this sticky uh, top plate as I show you, or top lid, and now I have to deal with this sticky uh, bottom lid. Uh, before I actually ditch it, I would like to see little buttons here, but I don't think I need them. Oh my god, it's so terrible. There is something else here. Um, so this a touch controller. Or touch pod I can remove and try to play with it as well. I'm just so curious what kind of interface is this? Is it like USB or is this something else? Yeah I'm super curious. What is that? Yeah it's really hard to tell obviously it's something proprietary. Oh it's glued unfortunately there's more screws. Looks like this um, white gloves would be ditched as well following the sad fate of my blue ones. Because looks like they are already getting dirty as badly as the other ones. Oh, more screws. Okay, that's a nice, met nice metal piece, but I think it's gonna go to garbage. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're gonna, what we're gonna use it for. Eh. Okay, nothing. All these buttons, things. Yeah, more screws over here and over here. Oh. Those are two millimeter screws. Can be useful around the house, right? And the buttons. Okay. Oh, this is just fallout. Nice. Okay, this is garbage. Oh. All right, so this is clearly goes to garbage, and there is nothing any any more useful. Uh, even those buttons, I don't think I need them. No, I don't. Okay, look at this. It's terrible. Okay, I was lucky enough. Actually, uh, laundry detergent remove all this almost all of this crap. So yeah. Uh, okay, synaptic. Touch drive made in China. There is a synaptic chip of a sort, and that's it. 
that's cool. Never actually had a chance to disassemble this device. Now I'm curious if it's possible to use this uh, in, the, in the projects. I'm just... Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll keep this. Also I keep this little um, wire. Yeah, that could be useful. I'm not gonna throw away this stuff. But it's, it, there is a lot of green crap around here. Probably uh, something was spilled on a, on a keyboard and uh, like coffee or something and it started oxidizing on the perimeter over here. But highly likely it is still operational. That's definitely a salvage. Yeah, but I'm curious what kind of interface this thing uses. Even this residue, look at this black one, it's sticky. Oh. Okay, we don't definitely need that. Goes to garbage. This is probably too. Okay, LCD. LCD is a I don't know if it's operational, I hope it is operational, I have no ways of actually checking it. Uh, it's always obviously in all this crap, so there is this connector over here, which probably busted because it's ripped on this side, so I'm not sure if there are any gonna be any use, but I have an idea how can I um, use it in some other cases. I think this interface is some sort of standard, I'll have to google it, uh, do some research, but I think because I saw this many many of these connectors of this type in different um, um, displays, different formats, different displays, different sizes, so potentially this parallel LVDS port, I hope I'm not mistaken, but parallel LVDS port may be um, um, maybe compatible with other uh, devices and probably I'm gonna uh, create a separate video where I explore how can I reuse this display um, and but for now because this thing is ripped over here highly likely not gonna work and this connector is highly likely something else it's ripped as well over here it's just gonna ditch it not to uh, I know I'm not gonna ditch it I may just remove it from here, but not gonna ditch it. I'm gonna actually, who knows, maybe I need to like make sure the... the I'm gonna just put it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna put it like this, and this high voltage part I'm gonna obviously save as well, because this very specific for this um, um, uh, lights that, that are in this display doesn't really say what display is this, but uh, this is something, probably, this is something uh, towards like 1024 by 6, uh, 7, 728 or something to this extent. It's That's the resolution, uh, old school resolution of a device, it's in, uh, of old school laptops, I meant to say. Yeah, this display may be used in some kind of project, I don't know. As, as long as I can connect HDMI to it through well, HDMI to LVDS adapter, yes. If no, it's gonna be recycled. Maybe I'll also take a look what's, uh, what kind of chips are here. Yeah, it's glued obviously, but I clearly see one big chip over here, one big chip over here, and that's it. Yeah. Obviously it's all glued, there is nothing going on over here. So here we are, this is Philips, LG Philips LCD. Very interesting why it says LG and Philips. It looks like back at the time those two companies were working together on the LEDs made in Korea. So definitely I'm gonna keep that one. And I think that's this, this guy could be operational. Okay, let's put it aside not into the garbage there's too many crap on my desk now okay we're gonna take a look a bit closer on this one now so <clears throat> as i mentioned uh, before uh, already about this cpu whole bunch of tantalum, tantalum capacitors those buttons clearly can be recycled not sure if this vga port and um, uh, and um, port 
I don't know if it's cereal or L LTP, LPT, I don't know, but can be recycled, don't need these things these days, um, yeah. Um, inductors, again, as I mentioned before, so I looked a little bit in details, Tur these guys turn out to be um, LMV324, those are op-amps, can be recycled, um, few resonators, one resonator, two, three, Again, some weird ass 14, 318 MHz, 29, blah 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 MHz, 49, 158, very odd numbers, yeah. There are a current shunts, 1, 2, 3 current shunts, can be. Those guys are, uh, what are they already? I forgot. Forget about these guys. Um, so this are some glue logic. These guys, um, one, two, three. This one, another TI element over here. The word I see that. So, anyways, these are um, some uh, logic elements. So, the, for example, HA fourteen, right? I think this is like inverting Schmidt trigger, if I'm not mistaken, this, this, this guy. Other, I don't remember. Uh, Alright, uh, so this guy, no, never mind, this guy. So there is a whole bunch of SMD componentry, which I don't even know how to um, figure out what are they. For example, all those uh, small uh, jobbies, um, uh, um, some of them, they are... Um, they are um, actually two MOSFETs, uh, fast switching MOSFETs. Those two guys, they are um, voltage regulators, multi-channel voltage regulators, probably specifically designed for this sort of purpose. Um, this guy, I think this is audio amplifier, this TP0202, this guy, Texas Instrument Audio Amplifier. Uh, that's probably it, I don't know this guy, ESS. Allegiance, I think, yeah, some probably glue logic. Yeah. Again, like you never know if, if you're ever gonna need those components. Yeah, they, they, I, I don't know how would I proceed with them. Like keep it in a, in a motherboard format like that, just somewhere sitting sitting somewhere. Still gonna take way less space than the whole thing. Uh, the whole laptop, but yeah, but it's still gonna <laughs> collect dust for a little long time before it actually can be ever used. Another resonator, 10 MHz resonator can be used, that's something more or less usable, it'll be better with a little bit 12 or 16 or 8. Another current shunt over here, a whole bunch of tantalum, tantalum capacitors. The only problem, I don't see the voltage rating, it says 100, probably microfarad, then it says J07, again, couldn't find any explanation what that really mean. Um, there are a few inductors like this, probably filtering inductors. This is connector to the LCD. Um, those few transistors over here. Another um, current shunt, not sure what the resistance is. Those are actually pretty cool uh, shunt, not sure how precise are they, but for example this one, this point, uh, 0.1 ohm, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's probably gonna be it on on this thing. I'm not even sure if we're gonna recycle those. Um, how do you call it? Audio jacks, but they are actually pretty nice because they are metal shielded, so could be pretty useful. CPU clearly yes, and the ATI rage uh, probably yes as well. <laughs> Have to figure out maybe even those two. Yeah, chipsets just for historical giggles. We're gonna pull them out. This is probably flash. Is it bias? Usually hard to tell. Yeah, I need like uh, wipe this, wipe this DL on it because it sort of makes it really hard to see. So yeah, yeah, the definitely keeper. Yeah, have to take a look. Have to think about if we're gonna keep anything of this. Gabazillion of screws and nuts and bolts. 
bolts mostly, no nuts here. This is garbage. This is garbage as well. And what do we have here? Yeah, the thing I need this. Mm, nice, whatever it is. Insulator, pretty cool. This is some al aluminium plate, which is actually glued to the um, to the plastic, uh, riveted with the with plastic rivets over here. Again, not sure if I need that. And then one screw over here, which is gonna remove for completeness, or actually two. This is actually well done because every there is a whole bunch of metal inserts over here, metal threaded inserts. Yeah, technically this thing can be... Nah, I don't need it to. It's probably glued. Oh, and this thing is sticky too. Oh my shish. Oh yeah, so this black plastic is crappy again as well. It's terrible, terrible. So I have to wash my hands one more time. CM Compact Computer Corporation Series CM2080. Yeah, that was CM2080 for you. Garbage. Nah, garbage. Hard drive tray. Garbage. Keyboard. That's an interesting one. Probably have no use of it, plus it's super dirty, but at the same time, it's kind of nice. Portable keyboard. I can keep it for now. This piece of metal, I'm not sure. This piece of plastic, no. Okay. CD. Not sure even to think about. I'm not sure if it even works. Looks like this button is... This button is busted. So yeah, there is a possibility that this thing is inoperational. because it has broken this front panel and because the front panel is broken uh, yeah, it won't be able to operate so I have to supply some voltage here to even see if this thing is, does anything obviously not gonna open right now, of course yeah, so keep it for now, but kill all those broken parts just for experiment this is nice candidate for tear down for sure, for sure. Maybe remove it from this tray. Just wanted to see what the heck is rattling inside this hard drive. It would be really nice to have a operational hard drive for um, this mini IDE hard drive, but I don't think I have any. This garbage. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Oh wow. Well. No leave it for now. Still configure out what is this. It has MAC address. So this is clearly Wi-Fi. Yep. Or could it be a... Do have a Wi-Fi button here? Usually when there is Wi-Fi, there is a Wi-Fi indicator, but there is no Wi-Fi indicator here. So yeah, I don't know if this thing had Wi-Fi per se. Let me see, it was connected to, to over here. Yeah, oh, all right, it's a modem. Yes, that is a modem because it was connected over here. And looks like if you trace those pins, they go straight to here. And this is phone jack, this is Ethernet. 
which probably goes to this PCI whatever extender or just extender not PCI not necessarily PCI mm -hmm. because there is no any like logic any computing of anything here so just this is was, this, was it seam or something just like oh it was oh yeah so Ethernet was going sort of to some sort of transformer which is not in place well this so this is Ethernet okay so this is modem I don't think I need it maybe just keep it for historical reasons but this is a modem why does it such a big connector over here I have no idea memory again not sure if I need this just just highly integrated chips it's kind of sad to throw them away keep it for now probably keyboard not sure ah check it this garbage garbage definitely keeping these guys can can do something with them okay what is this this those are he laptop hinges which is completely completely seized this is probably another possibility why it was broken and I gonna unscrew those nice M2 little screws can be useful around the house this goes to garbage okay so here's the touch we keep it okay this is garbage okay those are a gazillion of screws pulled out of this laptop I'm not sure if I need that do I need this little nice cute buttons few LEDs I have so many LEDs, it's not a problem. USB ports, no one needs that. Some bypass capacitors. Oh, yeah, and probably the LCD uh, power for the um, uh, high voltage driver was connected right here because it looks like one, two, three, four pins. Yeah. Wow. Many things were actually wired through those connectors. Uh, I keep it for now just to actually to understand what's the power like how this high voltage thing power just to to see where's the grounds where where's the common and things like that just to make sure yeah I properly power it during my experiment then I can gonna ditch it this guy I need to think about it because this can be useful for example I have my laser laser cutter um, potentially I can just MacGyver it to cool down the laser the laser itself the laser module I gonna keep it okay motherboard itself definitely a keeper and this guy is a candidate for tear down because I'm pretty sure I forgot to actually test it Right, in order to test the battery, I come up with this because it turned out to be these holes are too small. Just try to probe it somehow and see where, what we get. And we get nothing. Yeah, I'm, th I'm pretty sure this battery is gone. It is gone. Another possibility doesn't even output any voltage because a laptop is not connected. So, yeah, well, this battery is actually going to be gone too soon. Okay. And keep it for later for a tear down and uh, as I mentioned before this is 14.4 this is not a lithium battery because first of all it doesn't even say because I think usually it says that it's lithium battery so this is um, nickel metal hydride battery yeah
it would take some time to actually hammer it through but I'm gonna like using my hammer mat actually to open it up but that's not gonna be in, not in this video yeah so yeah I'll let it enjoy its original shape for some time okay guys that's pretty much it I think this video uh, of tear down of the laptop turned out to be a little bit too long and if you um, and have any ideas what can I what can I reuse from this uh, laptop board please comment below and as always see you next time in next episode of Inside Out Electronics. Ciao!